Hi there, this is Advanced SQL again with a super brief video on uh, that just reminds you that this computational pattern of scans, the pattern that we have just used to express the visibility in the hilly landscape, that this scan computational pattern is something that is much more broadly applicable and much more widespread in algorithmics than you might think. Okay, so it's not just about the visibility uh, in hills, but it's about a general, general uh, computational pattern that you will see in many more areas than uh, you might uh, think possible. Okay, so just to remind you, how do we express scans using window functions in, uh, in SQL? Well, it would be an expression that looks like this here in the box. Okay, it would of course rely on a well-defined ordering, the well-defined ordering as specified by these uh, ordering criteria here. And then a very special frame, a very spe special frame specification that starts at the very beginning, that starts at the very beginning of that order table and extends to the current row. Okay. Uh, it's not so much of, uh, of interest whether we are performing this uh, frame computation in the rows, range or groups mode. Uh, well, if we are using the range mode, then you know that all of this gibberish here, this very long winded specification of the frame can be abbreviated by just the empty string and we could just use the order by here and close the parentheses. That, this would imply the range uh, uh, mode of computation, but uh, well, the scans work just as well for the rows and groups mode. Okay, uh, so that would be the frame specification, starting from the very beginning of the order table extending to the current row, and over that frame we would compute an aggregate, this aggregate here, okay. And if you recall what an aggregate really entails in SQL, well, it's about an aggregation operation, a merge operation, with an identity zero or a starting value of zero. So we would start with a zero value and then use the evaluation of the expression E and merge that into zero using this binary operator. And what we get there, we would add the next element, the next evaluation of what we get here with E and merge that in our intermediate result and so on and so on and so on. So this would be the core of the aggregate computation. Of course, uh, empty aggregates would also yield a particular value and that's the, this empty value here. Okay, but this is what an aggregate computation entails in, uh, in uh, SQL. Okay, knowing that, it's really easy to compare the computation that is being performed by this scan expressed in SQL by other scan operations that you will find in other programming languages. There are programming languages around where, which even uh, come with either predefined or library defined operations or, or uh, 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 operators that perform scans. So the computation that we are performing above here could in Haskell be expressed using the scan L function. The scan L functions over an ordered list of values. We don't have ordered list of values in SQL, but what we have is tables that we can order by given criteria, and that would be our replacement of an ordered list in Haskell. And that scan computation, you see that it would, uh, would consume as arguments the zero and the merge operator. So this scan L operation is indeed a higher order function that would get this operator here as one of its arguments. And it would just compute what we've uh, described. It would, the result of this computation would start off with zero and it would then add to that zero the first element x1 inside the list and to that it would then merge the second element x2 in that list and so on and so on. All right, and that would be the result of the scan. And this is just the result that we can expect to see in the SQL case. If you recall our example that was computing a running sum, in the running sum example, this zero here, the zero here would be just the zero, the natural number zero, and this merge operation here would just be the addition. 
all right and uh, this then amounts to the computation of a running sum so uh, specifying the sum aggregate in this in the place of this general aggregate ag here would just compute running sums all right there's other programming languages out there uh, a very ancient one but that one that is very dear to my heart is apl apl has a dedicated scan operator that does just that all right or there are other more modern languages around like the python language and you know that it's uh, it has a it has a library function the accumulate library function which would just perform the scan like operation and as i told you already the number of things the algorithms the number of use cases for scans is nearly unlimited there is an entire entire branch of computer science uh, particularly in the study of parallel programming that is concerned with the scans scans in that context are known as prefix sums which makes sense because what we are collecting here is just the sums of the prefix of x values that we've seen so far all right uh, what you can express with this prefix sums or scans is really astonishing you can do sorting with that you can do lexical analysis with that you can uh, formulate operations over tree like structures you can do regular expression search and matching you can perform computer graphics using that you can have image processing programs that are entirely based on scans all of these are then also very easily parallelizable it's just a miracle so uh is I can only I can only uh, uh, recommend to take a few minutes and study prefix sums, study uh, scans in parallel programming, and you will find a plethora, a wealth of cool algorithms out there. Okay. Uh, to really uh, make this a short video, only one more slide in which I brought a quiz with you for you uh, all right so we have just seen the quiz that was asking for the rendering of the hilly landscape okay this would be an entirely different uh, sort of quiz and uh, it would just ask what this query is computing what's the result of this query how would you interpret the three column result of this query you see that the result will have columns pause and C and D and you can also see that D is the result of the prefix sum of a sum scan you see the frame specification here over this expression okay so why not consider this uh, expression for a minute you see that it's made entirely out of constructs that we have discussed so far in this lecture uh, there is one parameter xs here that I'm considering this would be one sample binding for xs so xs is supposed to be a string okay so this is a parenthesized string of arithmetic uh, operators and constants so an arithmetic expression if you would fit that into the place of xs here then you would see very sensible result and I invite you to study that and let us know in the forum let us know in the forum what's being computed here and maybe if you can uh, annotate your posting in the forum with a brief explanation of how that result was computed then that would be even cooler all right if this is of any help as i told you other programming languages also have scans built in apl for example the same query the same computation that is being performed by the sql query here is performed by this very brief APL expression or APL idiom I would say it's the same thing if you're an APLer you would probably recognize this and then you would already know what this SQL query is doing all right so uh, happy quiz time uh, looking forward to what you come up with in the forum and uh, that's about it for this video as a brief video for this uh, this time very nice okay so see you for more discussions of window functions in the upcoming uh, uh, segments looking forward to that see you then bye